<laughs> Welcome back to Dream Daddy. Welcome back to Dream Daddy. Be with your Dream Daddies. Hanging out with my Dream Daddies. Mal and Mars. Oh, I, I read this right. Yeah. I get to <clears throat> I get to work. I I get to work. I, I get to work. I get to work. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass, and I get some good work done. The washer-dryer unit is both washing and drying. And we can actually walk through the living room without tripping over boxes. First visitor already? Who the heck is it? I walk over to the door and I open it. Is that walking? Yeah. Hello. <gasps> it's a new person. <laughs> what? What yacht did you fall <laughs> off of? My God! A hand, he looks like he's from Mormon Boys. I, With a Z. A handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. Ugh, that's all I want. <laughs> Hello? Whoa. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next-door neighbor. Oh, yes. Hi, I'm Quincy. That's what my name is. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. They are all dads. It's dads dating yeah. dads. This is amazing. Joseph leans in and whispers. Where is this town where all these single dads are? Single date, yeah. Hmm. But between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. Wow, way to throw your daughter uh, under the bus, uh, Joseph. Mm -hmm. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? All right. <laughs> wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies. <laughs> Bye. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Amanda, come... Uh, and she's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Children in general are just tough. So wise, Joseph. Yeah. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have you done? <laughs> oh, uh, I meant... Don't oh. worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor that I've met, and my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move again? This is <laughs> an inconsistency, we've met other neighbors. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh. Is the missus around? Mister, actually, and uh... No, not anymore. He died. Oh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> what was that sound? Uh. <laughs> oh. Uh. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Hmm. I'm sorry. Can you uh, close the door real quick? With you on the other side. I look at Joseph quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. <laughs> hey, I- oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. Joseph! Sorry. <laughs> I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Oh. That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. <laughs> we shake hands to seal the deal. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Saturday. Oh, no! That's, That's right now, minutes. actually! <laughs> oh, yeah. My watch is ahead. It says 301 already. <laughs> We're gonna miss it! <laughs> We're gonna miss it. Sure thing, neighbor. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, 
I'm in the youth minister. I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Okay. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Oh, he's Mormon winking. boys. I called that one. Yeah. And with that, Joseph's gone. Did you make this game? In a way, it seems like <laughs> some of these things are coming out of my head. Yeah. He seemed nice. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recover I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already fitting in great. Where'd those cookies go? Oh, they're gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? I would do that. <laughs> You're like, I hate this. Oh, disgusting. Yeah. Finger that, that, guns. That. Yeah. yeah. I guess that makes it break time. Any ideas? Joseph probably wants his plate back. That's the That's only, the only option. All right, let's go give him... I think we get a ton of good neighbor points if we bring this back. Although you should probably wait a little because it's weird that we just, you know, that he just dropped them off a minute ago, right? We'll see. We're going to be the best neighbors in the whole cul-de-sac. We're going to kick all the other neighbors' butts. <laughs> With kindness. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda and I step outside. Oh. Oh. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Hmm. I'd hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. And remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We walk up to the kids and wave. Like this. Whoa. <laughs> Just look kidding. At, look at this sullen little person. Yeah. <laughs> that one's me. Yeah, I was gonna say. They're kind of creepy. <laughs> no, I'm not a creepy <laughs> little boy. <laughs> These are both me. Yeah. Hey, guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to uh, return this nice plate and thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They look exactly like him. Christy, da da da. What? They were really good. Christian, da da da. Tell me they all have seen you. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Chris, da da da. I chuckle nervously. <laughs> hmm. Well, okay. We're just gonna set this plate down on the ground, real gentle, and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right. That's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I can feel their gaze on my back even as we approach our house. <laughs> eh? Where's the fourth kid? Yeah. <laughs> I, I need something to get off. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. I need to rest my eyes. Nap time. Mm -hmm. You've been awake for what? Three hours? And that's three hours too many. <laughs> As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. Dum, dum. Quincy, bro. <laughs> hey. I, t I turn. Aw. I turn around and am greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. I like this one. <laughs> <laughs> Craig. Hmm. Bro. <laughs> bro. Mm -hmm. Holy. Bro. Wow. I haven't seen Craig in forever. Oh. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Nice. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's ripped. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. That is a cute baby. Hmm. Aw, oh, thank you. I don't even know how to talk like that. <laughs> like a... Hey! Like Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, the last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. 
This is River. Say hi, River. Ah, the baby smiled! <laughs> he picks up her tiny wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. It's cute. Are you, uh, babysitting? Oh. oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. <laughs> Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I was working out in California and just relocated the business back to Maple Bay. Where's Maple Bay? Is it, is it a fictional town? That's where we are. Pro yeah. But uh, is it real? I mean, probably not. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to this side of town. How's Smashly doing? Uh-oh. I don't know. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. I... She actually still goes by Smashly, and, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Oh. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. Twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? <laughs> he said it too. Yeah. You have three kids? Huh? Ain't life something, bro? Right? <laughs> Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. Keg Stan Craig? Use context clues, oh. Amanda. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> yeah. It was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Oh. <laughs> it's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg. Huh. Right. He was very good at it. Hmm. Ah, bro. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I uh, really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. Can you jog with a baby on you? Like, wouldn't that <laughs> hurt its neck? You know? I don't know. It's like, like, think, I'm like, the baby is, I don't think that, how, all right. Unless I don't know. Anyway. Uh, you jog daily, I jog yearly. On January 1st, when I promised myself that I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. Huh. Oh. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Haha, <laughs> I don't know. Hey! Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. Maybe if you strap me to yourself and do resistance training with me. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, sure, sounds great. Hmm? Great. Let's do that. Let's get that going soon. <laughs> I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Hmm. Why's that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. No. Oh. Amanda, he opened up a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He's not. I would do that. I wouldn't do the whole jar, but. He jogs. He was jogging. <laughs> Oh. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I feel later. <laughs> Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Hmm. Okay, she's going off. Aw, yeah. oh, Dad. It's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I won't. I know. I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's gonna be weird not having you around. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day, and I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. <laughs> you promise? Of course. Are you gonna be... Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? No. <laughs> oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Yeah. A dog? All right. Forget art school. I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's going to take? 
medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the nake, nake, neck. <laughs> I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> well, it depends on the dog. Yeah. Amanda laughs. <laughs> Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Uh-oh. Speaking of college, Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. <laughs> Did you get in? This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Mm. Open it! But I'm scared. Mm. It's just an envelope. No, it's not, Quincy. <laughs> yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. <laughs> We have a letter opener, but okay. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. Is this what being a dad is really like? I think so. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application, blah, blah, blah. Um, we... Her face drops. Regret to inform you that you are no. unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art and Design. No, baby. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. Oh, mm. sweetie. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch mm -hmm. you up for sure. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine, or are you just saying that? I'm fine. Really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably yeah. shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R. and Emma P. are sleeping over tonight. So... You need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but... Yes. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Huh. Oh. Yeah? What are your plans? Quick, think of plans! I'm secretly the mayor of this town. Gotta attend the union meeting. I'm going clubbing. Clubbing! Ooh! Should we go clubbing? Yeah, either go clubbing or the union meeting. Clubbing. Yeah, clubbing. I'm going to put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, and the running man. You know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. Alright, but I'm not going to come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Go to bed, go out, and watch the game. We're not going to go to bed. No, we are... We are an eligible single dad. We're yeah. We're going to go out. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Which game? Uh, you know, the game. The one that's on today. <laughs> dad. The game on TV and somewhere other than here. Okay, cool. While you do that, I'm going to do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to some white-collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at the least. Nah. I'm a street rat, Pops. <laughs> nah. You're kidding about doing drugs and crime, right? Be gay, do crimes! Oh, yes, Dad. Be gay. Just making sure. <laughs> I give her a pat on the head. Have fun with your sports. Water sports. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? Ugh. No, making fun of sports is played out. Huh. Alright then. I just do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda <coughs> stops me. Huh. Hey, don't forget that you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. <laughs> Pet every dog. 
Wow, I guess I really didn't think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me how to use the GPS on my phone, so I'm just going <laughs> to pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool. Okay, we're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance. Could it be... Jim and Kim's. A big burned out neon sign hangs above the tiny dive bar. Jim and Kim's, huh? All right, it'll do. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls sounds in the back as patrons laugh and joke. A string of multicolored Christmas lights hover above the bartender. I can't tell if he's Jim or Kim. I pull up a seat at the bar. Is it a gay bar? Bartender, what'll it be? One beer, please. <laughs> sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice-cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. <sighs> Say, are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. <laughs> oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer on my favorite team, hoping that I don't get into any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team in this packed bar. <laughs> Several people in this bar are wearing the distinctive colors of the team I dislike, although I believe from their demeanor that, like me, the passion for their team is all in good fun. Hey. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass sidles up to the bar and sits uncomfortably close to me. She a Christian. Hey, sailor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sailor. Oh, hello. Ah. Mary. She is a Christian. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often. Oh, no. I actually just moved to this part of town today. I'm Quincy, by the way. Mm. Are you watching the game? <laughs> yeah. My preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. <laughs> this is how hey, people talk. Sailor. Yeah. Oh, I love that team. And also, I love that game. I love someone who knows their way around balls. Me too. Ooh. I'm getting the impression that she's a little drunk. She looks, she looks kind of mean. Vampiric. I'm into it. That's, yeah, that's your type. <laughs> also. <laughs> yeah. Weird, weird boundaries, a little bit <laughs> like a vampire. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Ah. Buy a gal a drink? Should we? You've already got one. I say we do it. Okay. I almost reluctantly signal the bartender and order Mary another glass of wine. Oh, wait, because she's already drunk. Oops. Yeah. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary. They're clearly friends, and this clearly isn't her first time doing this. <laughs> she tips her glass at me. Suppose I gotta keep you company now. No, Mary, you don't owe me anything <laughs> just because I bought you a drink. Yeah. Oh, Brock's moving the green screen. Brock is doing that? Well, he was... He walked into it. <laughs> so, what do you want to know? What's, What's your, your deal? deal? <laughs> What's your deal? What do you think of the game? What's the latest gossip? Okay. Gossip? Yeah, I definitely veto number two. Okay. Yeah, let's do gossip. You came to the right broad. I'm an observer. I watch people. I see everything, know everyone. Nothing gets past me. So... Ugh. So what? I thought you were gonna... Mm. I forgot what we were talking about. <laughs> Brock is under here. <laughs> Should I pick him up? You wanna be in the video? He's fine. About the gossip? You said nothing gets past you? Oh, right. I'm almost a... <laughs> I'm also a steel trap. Confident to a fault. Dot, dot, dot. So what else? Brock! Hey. Brock! Stop! We're playing! Stop moving it! Maybe he wants to go pee pee. He's gonna have to wait you till wait a minute. done. So what else can you tell me about this part of town? Hey. Here, I'll pick him up. It's quiet, that's for sure. If you want an idyllic little life with white picket fences, this is the place to do it, but every town has its secrets, you know. Is this bad for the video? No, it's fine. 
She takes a sip of her drink. That was a little too ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Hey, sailor. Would you like to learn some of my secrets? <laughs> she keeps saying, hey, sailor. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, maybe some other time? Why don't you want to know her uh, secrets? Suit yourself, sailor. Mm. Oh. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the newest bar patron to enter. Broccolini! It's Broccolini! <laughs> he enters. You're the new bar patron. He said, I don't, I'll listen to Mary's secrets as long as she gives me treats. <laughs> right, good boy? I happily watch the game over another beer. The game has gotten close in terms of points. A little too close than what I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team, putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Uh, oh wait, that's not affirmative. It could be. Go team! <gasps> no! Oh, the no. other vampire! Oh shit, both my vampires are in here. It's the brooding man from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. Oh, we must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is far superior. Oh, he's such a dick, I'm gonna love him. I have to disagree with that. Based upon our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. Ooh. <laughs> That's where you're wrong. Since it stands right now, my team is beating yours. Since as it stands right now. The conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple through the bar. He's gonna be butthurt. I raise a respectful glass at the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response, an unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks. I am Quincy. I... You must be new here. Mary already hit on you. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Robert chuckles. <laughs> She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or Kim that runs this place? Hey. No. That'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Hey. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Diamond. Okay. Hmm. You a whiskey fella or a beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. Oh? You like shots? Oh my god. Ha. <sighs> I like shots, I love shots. Ooh, shots fired, I don't like them. I like shots. Picklebacks? Yeah. You think he'll get us shots if we say we like them? Should we say like or love? I think we should say love. I love shots. Thank, Thank God. God, yeah! He liked that. Robert nods to Neil, who serves up two shots of whiskey. He hands one to me. Huh. Here's to your health. <laughs> we take the shots. The whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Oh. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Okay, Quincy, this guy's out of my friend league, but I think if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. Compliment his cool leather jacket. Compliment his rugged good looks. Compliment his hand tattoo. Oh, they said not to say anything about the hand tattoo, remember? Yeah. Um, I think his rugged good looks. Yeah, me too. Get direct with it. Your face is <laughs> good. <laughs> Quincy! <laughs> Oh, he liked it. Thanks. Wait, I think this is what flirting is. Yes, it is! <laughs> yes, we're flirting! Your face is it's, good. Your face is good. Man, this guy is mysterious and cool. Hey. Way cooler than I am, at least. Oh, no, it's an illusion. Yeah. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? My daughter kicked me out of the house, running from my problems, trying to make friends. What do you think? Trying to make friends. I'm new in town. Figured it might be good to put myself out there. You seem pretty cool. Oh. The key to being cool is acting like you don't care about anything, but actually care very deeply about everything to the point where it's debilitating. <sighs> so true. <laughs> really? I... 
Robert downs the rest of his drink. Well, well, well. <laughs> nice. Of course not. <laughs> he gets up. Hey. Be right back. Gotta powder my nose. He's not coming back. Oh, you're Neil. Oh. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ha! <laughs> I guess so. I gotta admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks I'm cool, then I really must be. Aww. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. Uh. I'm gonna go home. You heading my way? <gasps> <laughs> Is this like a PG game? Or... We'll have to see. Let's find out. All right. This is our. This is a bad idea, but we're just. Let's just, let's just see what we're happens. We're gonna do it. Turns out in the simulation games, I don't make any better decisions <laughs> than my real life. Well, it didn't give us a choice yet. <laughs> yeah, Robert and I leave the bar and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Sup. 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 I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Oh no, so do I. Does everybody live there? <laughs> Me too. We just finished unpacking today. There. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. <gasps> Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop, and he turns to me. Mm. I don't kiss and tell, Quincy. Huh. So are we doing this or what? What? Hey. You know, do you want to come inside or not? <sighs> I definitely do. A wave of realization rushes over me. I blush. Lay it on smooth, smile and nod. No thank you. <laughs> I want to see what happens. Yeah, let's do it. Smile and nod. Mm -hmm. Let's, let's do, do it. Oh, yeah. oh gosh. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I follow him up to his door. He fumbles with his keys for a second and unlocks the door, leading me inside. The moment the door closes behind us, he pushes me up against the wall and kisses me, grabbing my hips. This game is not PG. Well... It hasn't said any, like, cuss words or anything. Come on. Robert takes my hand and leads me up the stairs and into what I assume is his bedroom, but it's so dark that I can't see anything but Robert's intense expression. <sighs> see, it said intense expression. It didn't say intense bone or anything or, like... <laughs> he kisses me again, and I can hear him shucking off his jacket. Shucking. I clumsily take off mine, too. His hands roam down my chest, and suddenly he's tugging at my belt. I, uh, I don't normally do this. Oh. Do you want to stop? No. <laughs> I'm so lonely, Robert, please. Um. What should we say? Your call, your call. Maybe, hmm, it's just because we're neighbors. Like, maybe I should say no. I also want to know if they let us have sex in this game, though. I think so, but I'm sure there'll be other opportunities to do that. Okay. Very cool. Uh, um, so he asked, do you want to stop? So if we say yes, it will stop. And if we say no, it will not. Yes, let's stop. <laughs> I support that. Actually, I should probably get going. And you know what? Robert's going to like that anyway. Because yeah. he's probably into what he can't have. Yeah. Robert steps back. Alright. I think I'm going to head home. Sorry. Nah, it's cool. I head home. My head is still spinning with the anxiety of turning Robert down. The sight of the couch helps me compartmentalize, though, and before I know it, I'm having dreams about my teeth falling out. Nah. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Yay! What will happen? Tune in next week to see what will Tune happen in. with next the mystery time. man from the bar. Will Tune. Mary ever find a, someone to hook up with? <laughs> yeah, look at Brock. There's Brock is trashing your studio. Oh. Puppy! Tune Puppy. in next time. Say something. Say daddy. <laughs> Say daddy. Daddy. Say dream daddy. One, does, two, three, he go. He does have a dream daddy. You're his dream daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, come on. Amanda. Oh, don't 
come with me. He's cute though. <laughs> Good job. Good job. How'd you get all the way up there? He's like, now we're playing a new video game. Okay. <laughs> Let us stop. Drunk dial and I wish that you would. It's such a pretty house in a pretty yard in a pretty neighborhood. God damn it, I wish that it were. A metaphor for feeling or the hardcover of your new memoir. Oh, oh.